Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. I am starting off with a bare face today. I am going to use the Makeup Forever Skin Equalizer in uh, Smoothing Primer. Uh, this is my first time using it, so I'm just getting you know to know the feel of the product. I do like it so far. It is a nice, uh, how do I say, a nice base to your face. So I'm just putting that all over my face, making sure that I am covered. And then I'm going to go in with the Makeup Forever um, HD Foundation. I am using shade 120 and I'm mixing shade 123 because I'm kind of in between a tan. And then I'm taking the MAC Luster Drops and I'm just mixing that together and putting that all over my face with a Real Techniques brush. So as you see, I'm just dotting that all over my face and then I'm going to blend it out. I'm just making sure that my whole face is covered and all my blemishes are covered, even my dark circles as well. And I'm just blending it with a matte brush and then I'm using the Naked uh, Skin Concealer and I'm just putting that underneath my eyes, putting that down on my chin and down the bridge of my nose and also on my forehead. Then I'm going to go in with the Real Techniques brush and I'm just blending that out as you can see here, making sure that everything is covered. And then I'm going back in with that MAC brush as well. And I'm just going to make sure that it's blended out so it does look seamless. And then I'm going in with the Kat Von D Shade and Light Palette. I'm using Lyric. And I'm going to put that underneath my eye to prevent any creasing as well as to brighten underneath my eye. And then I'm taking the Laura Mercier Translucent Powder. Um, it kind of didn't want to come out here at this point, so I had to just keep shaking it. So I am just going to bake as they say now and then I'm using the Makeup Forever Pro Bronze Fusion in the shade 30 and I'm using that to contour my cheeks making sure you slim that fat face down and then I'm going to do my forehead because of course I have like the biggest forehead ever and I'm just blending it out So as you guys can see, I left that powder underneath and I let it bake. So now what I'm doing, I'm just blending out and I'm just letting go of the excess powder there. So I'm blending everything out now, making sure it's all seamless. And then I'm going to go in and just contour my nose. And now I'm using the uh, Soft Ochre Paint, uh, Paint Pot by MAC. And I'm using that as a base for my eyes so my eyeshadows do not crease. So I'm just using a crown brush here and then I'm just blending that all out on my lid. Now I'm going in with the Anastasia Soft Brow uh, Brow Wiz Pencil and I actually am trying to get out using MAC Lingering because I want to try new brow pencils. So I used this today and I'm just made a mistake and now I'm just going back in again starting over. Sometimes we all make mistakes and I'm just going to use soft strokes and fill in my brows. So I use the top and I just create a straight line right across and then I do my arch right there. So as you can see that's one brow that's filled in compared to the other. Now I'm using NC20 um, and going to clean up the brow underneath so you can see that mistake that I made before it's going to be gone with the concealer and I'm just doing the other side of my brow as well. And I'm just blending with the Sigma brush, making sure that it's nice and seamless. Okay, now I'm using the new Buxom shadows. I actually really love these. And I'm going to use scotch tape to just make it give like that nice crease cut look right there. As you can say. I don't want it to have my shadows falling off by my lid, so I want to make sure that it's like nice and like creased. 
So I'm going in with star treatment on my crease. As you can see there, it's this nice matte brown terracotta shade. I love it so far. Um, these shadows are great. They're pigmented. They blend easily. It's just a fabulous job that they did. So now I'm using um, Filthy Rich, and I'm using that in my crease to just give it more depth and also to give it a darker look. So I'm using an E40 brush, and I'm just blending that in my crease. And now I'm taking Mink Magnet, as you can say, and Bold Blink. These are these nice shimmery shadows. I thought these were gorgeous. It's a nice rose gold as well as a nice, like, bronzy gold shade. So I mix those two together to get this nice look. And I'm using a Too Faced uh, brush. So now I peel off the tape and as you can see it's this nice like sharp look. And I'm just using the Lyric again just to blend it out so it doesn't look so harsh. Now I'm taking Filthy Rich again and I'm using that on my lower lash line. And I'm just blending that with a pencil brush from Sigma. And I'm just going to do the other side as well. Make sure it's nice and blended to give it that nice smoky glow. And I'm using an E25 brush from Sigma and I'm just blending that out as well. So it's not so harsh. Then I'm taking MAC Global Glow. I love this as a blush. I am not really a blush person. So I like to give more of like a bronze to my cheeks and I find this to be great because it has this like nice shimmer effect to it. And then I'm going to take Champagne Pop from Jaclyn Hill. I actually really love this. Even like with a touch, it was so pigmented. It was wonderful. So I think she did such a great job. I love this. I think this is like my number one highlighter currently right now. So I'm using this on my nose, my forehead, almost like a strobing effect as you can say. And then I'm going in with MAC Whirl, and I'm just going to line my lips with this, as you can see here. So I'm just lining the top lip. And then I'm using MAC Whirl Lipstick. This is definitely like a rosy brown shade. I find this to be amazing. I love this for like a nice summer look or even if it's like transitioning into the fall. So now I'm taking Maybelline's Falsies uh, Mascara and I'm just putting mascara on my lips. I'm prepping it for Falsies and I have here, I actually did my lashes off camera. I have here the Vixens from Social Eyes and this is the final look. I really hope you guys enjoy. Thank you so much for watching and please subscribe to my channel. Thank you. Bye.